playoffs. I, I I've seen it all now. I never for all the time that we've covered Dylan Mulvaney, I never thought I'd see a song now. How does that make you feel as a woman? I mean, aside from all of that, like the song was just shit and the vocals <laughs> were shit and it's just not music. And honestly, that's a whole nother topic from a different day. Like music these days is just not what it used to be. And music is actually just a shambles. It's rubbish. Shambolic. Really? Many people make the mistake of thinking that all criticism of Dylan Mulvaney is transphobic. Of course they do. That's the refuge of everyone who wants to shut down legitimate debate. But Dylan's interpretation of womanhood is that all girls are lazy, depressed, promiscuous, over-medicated and addicted to shopping. She's made a very lucrative career out of saying all this stuff. Corporate America and the actual President of the United States have decided that you, we, should celebrate it. So we have, I think, a right to maybe raise a quizzical eyebrow. I have a few supplementaries. Does anyone really believe that Dylan Mulvaney is a positive role model? For that matter, does anybody really think Dylan Mulvaney is a beautiful young woman? Is the entire act a joke at our expense? Is Dylan Mulvaney a secret agent of a Trump campaign sent to expose the utter lunacy of this cultural moment? It's not the only thing that would make sense. On a more positive note, there are some truly inspirational women fighting the real fight for women's rights and equality. Riley Gaines is one such woman. She was thrust into the spotlight as a champion swimmer who was brave enough to speak out against Leah Thomas, the formerly pretty unsuccessful male swimmer, who became a woman and immediately began destroying women in women's sport. Well, Riley and 15 other female athletes are now suing the NCAA. They say it's time to fight back, and she's right. Well, joining me now to debate all that and much more is my pack, the Uncensored contributor, Esther Kraku, the podcast of comedian James Barr, the host of Outkicks uh, Games. See the look on James Barr's face already. He's already ready to fight. Does he just, like, is it the, the, the Piers and James show now? I think James, from what I've seen of James, sorry if there's any James fans out there, but it seems that James, bring, James is brought on the show to be the punching bag, and he makes it very easy for everyone to punch. If you were going to have somebody to defend Dylan Mulvaney, not that this is defendable. I think it's pro- it's, it would probably sit in the camp of indefensible. However, if you were going to do that, you would have somebody on that is far more intelligent than James. James is like bottom of the barrel stupid. But Piers he knows advocates that. for everything that Piers is against. So maybe that's why it's just knowing you've got a guaranteed someone who's going to go against you. I'm sure there's millions of men and women that are against Piers. Piers puts James on there. Because James is incredibly stupid. And he's been exposed to be stupid so many times on this show that peers know that it's a slam dunk. If I want to get my point across, how can I get across most effectively? I will channel it through this donor over here who is going to make the most incoherent points to defend Dylan Mulvaney. Again, not that Dylan Mulvaney is defendable. But if you were going to make it a slam dunk, you would choose James. My real problem with this is you've got somebody making an absolute ton of cash by, it seems to me, mocking women and womanhood, despite until mid-20s identifying as a man because she was born a biological man. Well, it doesn't seem to me, as a woman myself, I can tell you that's exactly what Dylan Mulvaney is doing. Uh, He's made a killing on mocking women with his stereotypical misogynistic comments, and, and you hit the nail on the head. Uh, This new song, right, reducing women down to picking up medication, being lazy, not being able to get out of bed, shopping and retail therapy, hooking up with men and being sex crazed. Again, as a woman, I have not lived that lifestyle. Um, So that's what this is. It's a mockery of a woman. And let's be real. uh, I think the most ironic part of this is he looks like a man. If you're watching that video, he looked like a man who was wearing a wig with pigtails. He's not fooling anybody. Brandon, I mean, it's complicated. I don't, you know, I have nothing but respect for people who transition, for transgender people. I want them to have the rights to fairness and equality. I'm all... sure you wouldn't have stopped oh, Riley from misgendering, please. Hang on, I'm so going to come to that. That's clearly not true. I didn't misgender her. No, but you would have stopped her from doing okay. that on your programme. Well, OK, we'll come to you in a moment, James, let's wait. Uh, but, Brandon, there's all these issues, misgendering and so on. Um, what do you make, of, though, of the wider thing of, of Dylan Mulvaney, this cultural phenomenon now in America, basically sending up what it means to be a woman. I think it's absolutely appalling to give credit and and, and credence to a person who's mocking women. Dylan Mulvaney, I don't think is serious whatsoever. You got a gay man who has a a lust for fame, fortune, 
And what does he do? If it's being gay is not working out for you, you become trans and you try to make a lot of money, which is what Dylan Mulvaney has done. Dylan Mulvaney is not an example of women. He's not even trying to be a woman. He walks around with a five o'clock shadow and dresses up in women's clothes and mocks women. He's berating women. I have never in my life seen a woman act like Dylan Mulvaney. Not one person on this panel can show me a woman that's as flamboyant and radical and twitching and twisting and acting like Dylan Mulvaney. Are you Mulvaney. insane? Did it you watch the exist. Barbie movie? What are you talking about? What, talking about who are you to talk about, about who a woman is? You're real a life. Under, this is well, absolutely nonsense. Who are you to talk about? I'm not telling anyone who a woman is, but I'm certainly not telling someone who isn't a woman. Bro said, did you watch the yeah. movie? You fucking idiot. That's why Pierce has the, you on here. The Barbie movie was just... Uh, an absolute useless, pointless comment to make, and the, yeah, it's 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 a film, and also the film was not really advocating in that aspect. Was no, it? I mean, first of all, Barbie is a fantasy land. Barbie world is a fantasy land. It's a very over the top take on like a. I don't know, a girl's fantasy. I don't think any girl actually fantasizes about yeah, living a life Yeah, it's your like dolls. It's your yeah. toys. It's, 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 your, it's like Toy Story. It's your dolls being brought to life. That's all it is. Yeah, like it, and, and also, it's a comedy, right? Yeah. They're taking the piss out of both men and women in that movie. Now, I actually like the Barbie film. I thought it was pretty good. I thought, uh, is it Ryan Gosling? Yeah. Ryan Gosling. Yeah, yeah, I thought he was fantastic in it. I thought he absolutely smashed it. But it's a movie and it's a comedy. So for James to use that as the basis for the pushback proves my point. This is why Pierce has you under. You reinforce. You are the you are the mouthpiece for stupidity. There's no other way to put it. That's that is the first thing that came out of your mouth. And you were sitting there going like this, like getting all irate. I thought you were gonna come out of something coherent. Do you know what? Dylan Mulvaney is speaking to a huge generation of which none of you understand. Like well, what, you guys are what? over. That is my generation. Dylan has I don't know any, so any woman, I've got to say, generation. of any age who thinks that anything other than Dylan Mulvaney is taking the piss. Nonsense. Well, so you don't know any woman under the age of what, 40? Yeah, that's that's our generation as well. I don't know who you're James talking about. James, he's not he's not able to have a conversation and actually talk about things. Like he just shouts and huffs and puffs and screams and it's too much emotion. There's no level headedness here. Yeah, you can't have somebody on a debate panel like that if you're yeah. if you're representing one side. Now, what I will say is that James is the only person representing that side in this panel. So even though if you had a hundred people there representing his side, they would all be wrong. It is only him. So maybe he feels a bit flustered that Piers is here, Riley's there, the black lady's there, the black guy's on the screen. Uh, it's, it's, they've put him in an environment where he is only going to flip yeah, out. Yeah, they should have had at least two on, on, on one side. I don't know yeah. why they've done that, but still, like, he just... Why did James accept? <laughs> He's so stupid. He should, no, he should prep himself before going and doing this stuff. Prepping against five people that know what they're talking about and are just objectively in the right is extremely difficult. And He's then not even coming out of any solid points, though. No. He's just straight up, you don't know what this generation feels like, basically, is what I took from that. Yeah, well, his first point was Barbie. And then... <laughs> <laughs> and they lost for another 40, yeah. Right, and you think they all, they all think Dylan is taking the piss? This, they do. No, that's insane. The ones you know I, I will thing. say, you've sat here on your show and you've bashed... Madonna and mm -hmm. Sam Smith yeah. and all of these other icons. So Dylan icons just joins. Icons to you, they're not to me. Dylan just here's, joins here's them, the them in the, I, in the I, hall. I, of but the central fame. allegation, James, is that what she does, and this, I think this video clip is absolutely indicative. She's making. It's a pop song. I, Have a, you not seen a Dua Lipa music video? And to be honest with you, I don't. His is conforming. Because he's using the preferred pronouns. I think in order for him to operate on YouTube, he has no choice. You either say the name or don't misgender. But then Miley, Miley misgendered, um, not Miley, sorry, Riley, 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 Riley Gaines, she misgendered, but I don't know how it works. YouTube seems to be very all over the place. Sometimes you can do it and sometimes you can't. I think Piers obviously running the company doesn't want to, or, or running this show, he doesn't want to go under, but also it does make your point a little bit more wishy-washy if you're not just going to go the whole way of it. I don't even, I haven't got the energy to get into the misgendering debate, right? I think, I think the whole personal pronoun thing is a lot of crap. But for the benefit of this conversation, let's move past that. I'll call her she, if that's what she wants to be called. But what she is not is a biological woman. Until her mid-20s, uh, she identified as a gay man. 
And that's the point there that Brandon was making. And for a, 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 someone who was a gay man to put their hand up and say, I'm now a woman. And by the way, I'm going to make tens well, of you're millions... Misunderstanding what? Hang on, hang on. So make tens of millions of dollars mocking women, what, well, which is how many is, women see it. You I think, think that is, was that is mocking wrong. women, or Kylie was mocking women, or Madonna was mocking women just because Kylie they're and Madonna are women. their femininity. They're women. It's not OK to say that, and you're misunderstanding how difficult it is to discover I, I your think, identity oh, I'm sorry. as a I, woman. I, I, I don't see Dylan Mulvaney struggling at all. Dylan Mulvaney has documented Dylan Mulvaney is revelling, is revelling in mocking womanhood. No, Well, actually, the, the thing is, I, I don't think Dylan Mulvaney... I Just before she speaks, I know everyone's cut her off. Mm. But... <laughs> You're would, adding to that. I'm adding to it. But would James be saying that if this was, like, a black person? Say that, like... They had, uh, do you remember Iggy Azalea was doing uh, black music and everyone mm. got onto her for it? I think some of those comments that, the, that were made at her were a bit unjustified, but do you see how the vis there was a very visceral reaction towards her and how she was stealing black culture and all that? Why is that same sentiment? Because they're the kinds of people that would probably agree with James, some of them anyway. Why is that same sentiment not extended to Dylan? Madonna and Kylie Jenner, or whoever they were talking about, are women. So even if I disagree with them, they are still women. So they still have more claim to like, do these things and, and get less pushback from men, even if I don't particularly like it. But for Dylan to be doing it, I can 100% see why women would look at, at that and be like, what, what are you doing? I can see why it'd be a mockery. I mean, what do you, it's not like a mockery to you. What the um, what Dylan Mulvaney is doing, yeah. Also capitalizing on that mockery and making millions. Yeah. I mean, let, let us not forget, right? I'm a strong advocate of vote of your wallet, and Bud Light made Dylan Mulvaney the face of their product, and Bud Light is marketed towards like university guys, frat boys, and all that, and they made they were very vocal, and it picked up enough steam. And the company tanked and they had no choice but to rebrand. And now they're partnered with the UFC again. They've got, um, I can't remember what the comedian's name is, but they've got a very famous comedian that is representing them. That's the power of your wallet. I say this all the time. The people voting with their wallets, you might be a very, very like in a small echo chamber and it just picks up steam. And Dylan, these companies don't care about trans people. They don't care about gay people. They don't care about straight people, women, black, Asian. They don't give a fuck. They care about where the money is, and they thought Dylan Mulvaney was going to generate money. As soon as, Gen as Dylan Mulvaney was not generating that money, Dylan Mulvaney was out of that door. I don't take offense to what Dylan Mulvaney is doing, because it makes sense. In the current media landscape that we live in, it makes sense for this man, it's a man, to, to become as a flamboyant, effectively caricature of a woman. And I don't take offense to it because I treat Dylan Mulvaney like he is, which is it's a, a mentally unwell person. She is a she. This, this is, he is a mentally, he is a mentally unwell person. I, I don't, don't see him as a woman. He's not a woman. In, He's a mentally a unwell like person. A in a case like this, where Dylan Mulvaney is only identified as a woman for, what, two years and was a gay man till her mid-20s. I don't think but you... Do you, James, that, James, do you realize that Dylan... James, I don't think you have any right to compel do you know, women do you to say that this is... Do you understand a how woman. difficult it is to, to realise that you're trans, to understand the complex... Do you sure. understand the complexity of that? how does this help them? You have trans how does this help you trans know Do you have any it's idea how difficult it is to, to be a woman? Riley has a very good report. We've discussed this before. Hang on, Riley. It doesn't make you right. You mentioned you have no idea how... I do think it's very rich that James is saying that, and I'm not saying that people don't go through struggles. And like I, like I said before, I know trans people. It's not to say that they're lesser human beings. But if the argument is, do you understand the struggle? Riley Gaines is sitting right there and Riley Gaines and a bunch of other women had their position stolen from them. It is robbery. You can't have a biological man that is now identifying as a woman enter those sports spaces. Athletically, women cannot compete with men. They've run these experiments before. They've had trained female boxers fight barely competent men and they have lost we just saw Clarissa Shields, who is supposed to be one of the best female boxers in the world, go into a gym to fight a mediocre male. A mediocre male. That's not a put down on him. It's just a skill. The ceiling for men in boxing is extremely high. He put her on her ass. He gave her one bang to the face. Both of their punches connected. He didn't move. And she went down. She's meant to be the best that the women can offer. And amongst the women, she's great. And maybe she's got an even higher skill set than some men. But just because of the way we're built up, you can't compete. There's nothing you can do. And it's not, it's not really a put down on women, is it? It's just biologically true. Yeah. Sabi could go and train jujitsu 
for three or four years and I take time off, I'm fairly certain I'll still win. And it's not because I'd be more skilled. She'd probably be more skilled than me. I'm just much, much stronger. So I don't know why they're trying to make out that that's not a reality. If you want to identify as whatever you want to identify, that's up to you. But the laws and the way we do things should not bend to that. Because the only people that suffer are women. Men don't suffer. If women, if, if a woman comes into my space, so be it. It's an easier victory for me. And again, that's not a put down. That's just a reality. If a woman starts playing basketball with men, they're going to get cooked. If she starts fighting men, she's going to get put in a hospital. If you start swimming with men, you're going to be left behind. If you start racing men, you're going to lose. There's no sport. There is no athletic endeavor. That a woman can beat a man in. Difficult it is to to identify as trans. Let me ask you: Do you have any idea how difficult it is to to be a woman in today's climate, and then to be entirely mocked by a man merely posing to be a that's woman? That's how do you, you feel, and that is not true. That is not Dylan. Well, that's not just not, how I feel. There has been an avalanche. There has been an avalanche, there has been an women, avalanche of, of people not. on TikTok, on the left and the right, coming out now saying, "Hold on." This Dylan is wrong, is and this isn't the first time that Dylan Mulvaney has been under fire. Here's the thing. His first, his first um, days uh, of girlhood, he I'm came out after day 365 or whatever her. day you it don't, was. You can't compel people to do that. Yes, you I can't. Can, no, you can't. You can call <laughs> Dylan Mulvaney. You can call Dylan Mulvaney whatever you want. It's discrimination. But Riley Gaines, of all and people. Listen, Riley, I do sympathise with you, you know about what? how no, difficult it is. Riley Gaines has had to compete against biological males. I want to listen to how difficult it is to be a woman because I want to understand that. I know that's tough. As a gay man, I'm also a victim of the patriarchy. We all bloody are. Like. This fucking guy, I swear. He's actually the worst. He's sitting there saying, oh, I want to understand your struggles. Riley's telling you my position was stolen from me. And all you're concerned about is misgendering. You don't give a shit about these women. Don't Stop pretending. And you also can't compel people to speak the way you want them to speak. You actually can't do that. Yeah. You're not fucking Harry Potter Voldemort. You can't wave a wand and get me to say something. I can say whatever I want. I've always said that there's a middle ground that can be met here. I can just say your name. And if that's not good enough for you, we can go our separate ways. I ain't going to bother you. I ain't going to write nothing mean about you. I'm not going to talk about you. I'm going to go about my day. But you can't make me say something that I don't believe. Just, just as much as I can't, I can't walk up to you and say, use my biological pronouns, which are he, him. If you decide not to, and you decide my, name, my, my pronouns are idiot and jackass, there's nothing I can actually do about it. I just have to accept that you're going to call me idiot and jackass. I either talk to you, we throw hands, or I go, go my separate ways. That's it. Look, I understand, you but your You jerk. mentioned discrimination. You being a you woman. You mentioned discrimination. Let, Let me tell you Stop something. Over the Do you believe that it's point. okay? No one's allowing me to finish a point. What's your point? Am I allowed to speak? Sure. I, oh God. Okay, fine, I finished. What's your point? <laughs> you haven't got one, have my you? Point, no, Riley. I have, my point is, Riley, that... Let me say something. I understand how hard it is okay, to be a woman ahead. and that you fought so hard to be a woman. And I have so much empathy with that. So I can understand why it is so upsetting when, in your view, someone who isn't a woman comes along and says they are because it undermines all of the history of what women have been through. Yes. But that's not a trans well, woman's fault. That is men's fault. Men are the problem, not Dylan, not trans women. Except, oh, men are the problem. Except, no. I'm sorry, what? Men are the Is one plus one three? Where did this... Did you hear what you just said? Men are the problem. That's exactly why they're pointing the finger at Dylan. What are you talking about? That was... Without a shadow of a doubt, the stupidest thing you've ever said. You pointed out the problem and then you refuted your own problem. Yeah, but if we take it away in that aspect of the way you're looking at it, he's obviously looking at it in a different way. I still don't understand how men are the problem in that way. It's because still not, it's not registering in my brain. The reason that men are the problem here is that when men transition over and become women and they invade female spaces, the women are in danger. When, if you no, I understand that. Yeah, right, that's the point you're making. Mm -hmm. but that's not the point he's making. That is no. He the point. He, no, he's trying to say that Dylan Mulvaney's not a man, and so he's trying to say we're the problem. I don't know. Actually, we haven't even heard what he's going to say. But he's saying we're the problem. But he's separating Dylan Mulvaney from me. He's saying me and Dylan Mulvaney are not the same. But if he's saying about men becoming trans women. Mm. Are the, he's not going to be saying that because then he is going against something, but he's saying 
I think he's saying men in a different aspect. He's, he's, he, I mean, I understand why you're struggling to mm. get it. I'm, I'm kind of struggling as well the more you keep mm. talking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll let him speak because this is a, a next level dumb. I have, I have too many brain cells to compute what's going on here. I would need to literally just zero. I would need to go down to one brain cell to get what he's going on about. Trans women are men. Men are the cause. So you would come back to us. That is what the problem is. Riley? Are you saying it's not? Are you let saying you're you not something. a victim you- of men? Because what, what are we talking no, about? What She's I'm a saying victim here of biological men. What we are suffering men. from as a nation, no, 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 really no, no, globally, no, no. what we're suffering from. Women have been, have been a victim of men. That is truth. No, she's right? a victim. She's a victim of gay here, men. Here, let me take that's you back. This, let me tell you what I'm a victim. Gay men and victim. Do you know what? Let's just pick on all the minorities. Let me say No, James, you're you're so stupid. Let me explain something to you. All people on this planet, right? They always use this argument against men, like everyday men, like me, your brother, my dad, whatever. They use the argument saying. We are the problem. We are not the problem. We are also the victim of very powerful f- governments and families that run countries, right? Now, yes, overwhelmingly, those are represented by men. But those are less than 1% of the population. Less than 1% that govern the entire world, right? They're the ones in control. You can't blame that on all men. A lot of people that live in famine and live in poverty and live in bad conditions are also men. So they're also victims. If that's the argument that you're going down, it's a bullshit argument. You can't brush the entire agenda with the actions of a few. If you turn, like they always use the argument of the world war, right? Hitler started the war and they say, look what men have done. Who was fighting Hitler? Who was fighting Hitler? Who were fighting all of these world leaders that started these wars? It was other men. You can't blame all men for the actions of a few. That's like blaming an entire religion for the actions of a few or blaming women for something they might have done. That's, that's bullshit. I hate that argument. It's so dumb. But also, he's also making the argument as well because Dylan Mulvaney is a biological man. And so in this instance, in the trans argument where women are pushing back, they're pushing back against men. So you're also making, this, you're making the argument for us whilst making stupid talking points up. Wow. Is Let's a gay man Megan. that's doing this. You think Megan's so a minority? Thomas oh, and I am so people. done with this conversation. Let yeah. me tell you. Let Isn't me tell you how, how, what I'm James a wants to of. control everyone's thoughts. <laughs> no, I don't. I you just want, want everyone to have a on. nice, civilized Hang on. conversation. You want to control Piers. everyone's speech, Why is and how they one? speak, and how they refer to people. They're not allowed to have their opinions. Yes, Only they are. You, you want to mansplain to women <laughs> what they should be thinking. <laughs> and at the same time, you want to blame the I'm patriarchy. Not, I want everyone to be kind to everyone. Oh, no, you don't. That's what, yes, I do. Oh, right yes, there. I do. Do you believe me, not the patriarchy? Kind. Want to it be is, kind to me? It is not kind to ask a young girl to undress in front of a man. That is not kind. That, what kindness right. is. And if that's what you believe your definition of kindness is, you have a, to- a totally warped perception. And let me tell you, it's not inclusive to ask a girl like myself what happened to me and my teammates, it's not inclusive to ask us to smile and step aside and allow these men onto our podiums. That is not what inclusion is. That is exclusion. And it's exclusive to the very female athletes or women in general who Title IX and the women's sporting category was passed to protect and to honor and to celebrate and to uphold. And so Riley, I think we have very Riley, for different those who definitions d- of what kindness really is. Right, so, so Riley, I totally agree with you. And Riley, for those who don't uh, know what's going on with the NCAA, the National Collegiate Athletic Association in America, you're one of many athletes, female athletes, suing them for their transgender participation policy. Why? Yeah, so basically the NCAA, uh, their most basic duties are to protect athletes, both male and female, uh, to protect their opportunities, to protect their safety, to protect their privacy in areas of undressing. And bottom line is the NCAA is failing on every account of that by allowing men into our fields, onto our courts, in the pool with us, in our locker rooms. Allowing men into the locker room to get changed to me is just like, what is going on here? Can you imagine that you had a daughter? She was competing. Yeah, no, it's just wrong. What, what is going on? I thought that we were supposed to be fighting for female spaces. Now we're fighting against them. I'm, I'm confused. What's what? And the, the worst thing is, is that you'll have this argument of some women who have never, con- never played a sport in their life, never been to the gym, and so they don't really understand. Even though you should be able to imagine it in your head. You shouldn't, you yeah, shouldn't need to do it. I think the ones who aren't having opportunities taken away from them like Riley, then they're not understanding it. The problem is with this argument, and I've had this argument with people multiple times, is that you can't 
say to a trans person, most trans people, that I, I respect your identity. However, you can't go in a girl's bathroom. It doesn't work. You either fully respect their identity, like you say, it is, and you're not posing, yeah. or you don't. And the thing is, is that they want to be uh, treated as women in all spaces. Now, if you're one of these people that are like, I'll use their pronouns, but you shouldn't be boxing. Can you see, can you see why you're causing more of a problem here? It's either you're in or you're out. You have to pick a side. It is one of those things where you have to pick a side. If I'm telling you, if I'm telling you I'm a woman and you're telling me, yes, Michael, you're a woman. However, you can't go over there where women go. I'm going to look at it and go, but I thought I was a woman. So you have to pick a side. So all those people that are like, oh, I'll do this, but I'm not doing that. Those people can go fuck themselves as well. They're just causing more problems. I'd rather you just say what it is and, and just stand on business. Just be up front. Because the thing is, is that you're also confusing them. They think that they, they would consider you like an ally. And then you turn around to them and say, actually, you can't go over there. And then, and then they're confused. Rather than just telling them up front, no, you can't go over there because this is what, this is what the situation is. Uh, so that's what this lawsuit is about. That's what we're hoping to change here. So again, myself plus 15 other athletes who have been adversely impacted at the hands of the NCAA are now taking legal action and saying what they are doing explicitly and actively and directly is discriminating against us on the basis of our sex. And so to your point, if we want to talk about discrimination, that's exactly what my teammates and myself and my competitors and girls around the country, again, at the hands of the NCAA, continue to have happen to Well, you're them. also discriminating, but uh, what about lesbians? Are they allowed in your changing rooms? They're biological women. No, but you're talking about women. They're who, women. Yeah, yeah, they're women. You're worried about women seeing Look, your body? I, I mentioned like, nothing about... I, mentioned, no, I, men I mentioned nothing about... No, no, what I'm... That was the dumbest point he could have ever said or made. Oh, James, you are so dumb. You are so dumb. They're women, you jackass. Do you think lesbians are like horn dogs and they're just going to jump on all the women there? That's also a bit of a fucked up thing to say about lesbians when you think about it. Yeah. He was basically insinuating that you can't get changed in front of them because they're going to ogle your body like they haven't seen the female body before. Honestly, James, like you're a gay man. You, you're in the LGBT community, right? And yet you talk like you have just come out of your mom's womb. Zero intelligence whatsoever. No awareness. That's like him saying he shouldn't use the boys' toilets because he's a, he's a gay man. Yeah, can you imagine? He's gonna, yeah, he's going to look at all the boys because he's gay. Imagine I, imagine I said that. I, like, I don't want gay men in the change room because they're going to look at my, my ding dong. Yeah. Then it becomes, it's a whole it's a whole other ball game. Do you know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. it's, there's so much to it and they, they just keep on treading on their own toes. It's because they're complicating very simple things. Gay men can change in the locker room with straight men because they're men. And unless they're grey pissed, we don't have anything to worry about. We're all men in the changing room, right? Everyone's, I mean, I don't like particularly going in changing rooms and everyone's getting changed. But if, it, if that's what it is, that's what it is. The thing is, is that what people need to understand is where does the line get drawn? Because if we're at a point now where people think it's okay for... for people to identify as whatever gender they want mm. and use whatever bathroom they want because they identify as a woman or they identify as a man. Where do you then differentiate or draw the line of safety of knowing who's genuine and who's not? Because if all of this stuff becomes allowed, you're going to get some re really... You're going to get sickos who are going to play on that to get themselves into these spaces so that they can do what they want to do. Yeah. Uh, this is also happening in, uh, have you, do you know about Planet Fitness, the gym? Yeah. Have you heard about what's going on? No. They have allowed men in female changing rooms and there's been a massive, massive uproar. And they've, I think the company's tanked 400 million. All a man needs to do that undresses in front of women is to self-identify as a woman. Um, and so it caused a huge uproar. People were not happy. And now Planet Fitness's stock has literally gone like that. It's crashed into the ground. You can't force people. You can't force this stuff on people. Mm -hmm. If you want to, like, if if you turn around to me today and you're like, Mike, I'm now Sabo or something, like, you can call yourself whatever you want and you can see yourself however you want. But society does not need to bend to your will. Now, the gym can do that if they want, and I would say to any gym owner, if you want to do that, go ahead. If you also want to see your business go down the drain, go ahead. And people have the right to vote of their wallets, and they did. And now Planet Fitness, because they're a business. They better revise things. Now, because it's a gym and it's a commercial space, that's going to be incredibly hard to come back from. With Bud Light, because people like the drink, it's synonymous with uh, university culture and frats. 
There was a road back there. They partnered with the UFC. They saved themselves before it's too late. A gym doing that, I don't know if there's any coming back from that. And if there's no coming back, then good riddance. You did it to yourself. I have a problem with is I don't want to see a naked man's genitalia. I'm married. I have a husband. You think my husband wants me seeing another naked man while he also gets mm. to simultaneously, non-consensually at that, get to see me naked? No way. That goes against my values as a Christian. That goes against my values as a, a married woman. No way. That's what I have a problem with. It has nothing to do with his sexual orientation. I, I don't play, know if Thomas I likes play men or women or, or what. But right. I want to play way. a clip, uh, Riley. This is you on Joe Rogan 12 days ago. Um, which you talked about another aspect of the Leah Thomas uh, story. Does Leah Thompson have sex with girls? What? Leah Thomas, rather. Yeah. At the time, again, this is what I know based off of what his teammates have told me and, and what really has been public knowledge based off what they post and different things. Uh, at the time of that national championships, he was still dating women and active with women. Sexually. So obviously has testosterone. Yes. But now, um, again, based off of social media, um, he is engaged to another man who claims to be a woman. So two men, but they call themselves lesbians. Um, so who knows? But, but at, yes. But at the time. So yeah. you're a, if you're on that team, you're a woman – and you have a biological male who's intact, who's having sex with women, walking around naked in the locker room with women. And if you're uncomfortable with that, you should educate yourself. You and said learn it. how to use she, her pronouns and accept defeat. This stuff is indefensible. This is insane. Imagine being the woman, yeah, that's out with Leah Thomas. You're out on a date, right? Takes you home, pipes you. You know, oh, can you come support my swimming contest tomorrow? She doesn't know what's going on. She walks in, it's the, it's the women's contest. Can you imagine the look on her face at what is going on here? It's all madness. Mm. The way Joe Rogan explained it, like it, it just really puts into perspective how insane this has gotten. Like, if, like I said, if I want to identify as a donkey, no one can do anything about that. That's up to me. The problem occurs when I start asking for donkey rights and privileges as a donkey and to be treated differently from everybody else. It's just the answer is no. Society has been set up in a way and it has functioned that way perfectly for a long time. I don't see the reason to change it. There's no good reason to change it. All of the changes are just backfiring. Do you remember that Barbie Kardashian individual that we covered? They committed all kinds of heinous crimes against women. And then Barbie Kardashian was like, I'm also a woman. And this, my, this literal, literal Michael Myers, this guy is Michael Myers in real life got sent to a woman's prison. He didn't just attack women. He tried to tear his mum's scalp off or her ears and then attack the correctional officer that was transporting them from one place to the other. And the bozos in charge were like, send them to a woman's facility. If they're going to give criminals those rights, then I don't know what chance you guys stand. Esther, do you feel educated? I feel the opposite. I actually feel myself losing brain cells. I actually thought my brain was going to leak through mm. my nose, realizing Leah Thomas or Liam Thomas or whatever the name is, uh, dating history. Look, I don't think the, th the reason why I don't get as worked up or upset about this is because I, I recognize society's flaw. They have given mentally unwell people the status of being right. They've given the status of validating their delusions. And in other, in other, in other ways, compelling us to validate those delusions. I'm not offended by Dylan Mulvaney. It doesn't offend me because this is a mentally unwell person. Why should I be offended that this person is trolling? I actually think a lot of conservative uh, stations make the mistake of giving people like Dylan Mulvaney the, the publicity that he craves. She. Because I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I'm looking at, at a mentally well person. That's a lie. I'm not going to do that. I'm, uh, you're gatekeeping womanhood, which it's is not, the most it's not manly difficult. thing you could possibly thing, do. So you, I'm going to say you, you, man, you, 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 you were educated GQ at the expense man of, the of the year, British tax. Esther. You were educated at the expense of the British tax. A man told a woman that he's that she's gatekeeping womanhood. Do you see the way though when <laughs> when Riley uh, made all them points she just made? He, he, James never said nothing back to her because because he knew she was making solid points. He couldn't say anything. Yeah, I now mean, he's jumped onto this woman now. Otherwise, he has to look Riley in the face and say, "Yes, you have to stand there, yeah. but naked in ca in case of a man in front of a man." that is also butt naked, that is not your husband, 
and accept it. That's what you're telling women if you're standing against Riley Gaines because that's what they made her do. And then they turned around to him and said, if you don't like it, get educated. What, what timeline am I on? Did the flash run backwards or something and fuck everything up? Like, what is going on here? This is bizarro, Like, like I'm genuinely confused. And I'm not even trying to be mean. I'm not trying to, like, put anyone down. But there's lines. Lines have to be drawn somewhere. Nobody in their right mind watching this video would be okay with their little girl, teenager or otherwise, going into a changing room with a full-grown man and getting undressed against her will. None of you would. And if you're saying you would, you're lying. Not a single person... That is a caring parent or a caring individual for that matter. And you don't know the difference between you a man and a woman. James, Are you serious? You cannot compel people to use <laughs> I'm not the language people, you want, but I want them to people use. to be kind. I am kind. You're just I'm calling, lovely. You're calling her kind. mentally unwell. He is mentally unwell. That's not how, nice. That's how, very excuse unkind. Excuse me, I'm Everyone sorry. on this panel so if far I, has I, had zero empathy for someone, any of the people we're discussing. You had no empathy. You don't want to hear other people's opinions. You don't want to hear other people's opinions. Yeah, Brandon, come to Everyone has... Everyone has an opinion. You may not like the opinion, yeah. which is but fine. I don't love? agree with you. Where's it the doesn't love? It's an, matter. It's a not lying. You, that's your, you, you think love is lying to people and deceiving people. I think love is telling people the truth and being consistent across the board. Dylan Mulvaney is crazy. Where's the dignity? Now, let me tell you, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Where's the respect? Let's put this in perspective. Let's put this in perspective. Where's the respect? Because I think people get caught up in the, in the gender. Now, where is the respect, Dylan? You're telling another woman to get naked in front of a full-grown man. His name's not... Wait. What did I call him? Dylan. Oh. James. Same same brain source. Role thing. Just imagine if a person was white and decided to identify as black and did all of these crazy We've things. Had, that this they argument has been had so many times. Listen, that they did stereotypically what black people would do. We would be outraged. We would. It would be a sham. I agree. We would not accept it. And so we shouldn't do that. What Dylan Mulvaney is doing is wearing women face. The person is but, not a woman. He's not trying to be a woman. He's impersonating. I, honestly, like I can't continue to sit here listening to this absolute nonsense. Riley, I want to ask you a question because a lot of this is to do with sport and how you feel. It's unfair because you're up against people with it is you know, a, a bigger body, right? So, do you think with it's men. unfair that someone who's taller than you or has more strength than, the, than you can be in the same team? Is that the argument we're a making? Here? Is that what's unfair? I think Riley? it's to do with the chromosomes, but I'll let Riley on. <laughs> James, you're so dumb, bro. You're so dumb. I know you're trying to skirt around it. A taller woman that is well-built is still probably going to be weaker than a shorter man who isn't as well-built. We don't put men with women, and that's it. There's no ifs, buts, or maybes. There's a reason why we separate the divisions. There's also a reason why we separate weight classes, and men tend to be heavier than women. And even, even in men's... Uh, weight classes we separate them you don't put Brock Lesnar against T uh, Tony Ferguson you don't put Conor McGregor against John Jones right you don't put a you don't put Zhang Weilang or wh whatever her name is against Amanda Nunes they're not in the same weight class and so you definitely don't put the same gender together have you not seen Fallon Fox did you not see what Fallon Fox did to a woman literally her head caved in I'm not exaggerating. I'm not making that up. Her head caved in. The, the conclusion you're drawing, let's look at this for what it is. A man, on average, you take any sport. You take track and field. You take swimming. Swimming is the sport I played. Let's look at swimming. Across the field consistently, if you look at the world record against the men on the men's side versus the world record on the women's side, consistently that athletic performance gap is 10 to 12%. Someone being a few inches taller than me does not... It does not make up for that 10 to 12 percent right. performance gap we're okay. talking about by having a man competing against a woman. Of course, there are there are natural advantages that people possess. But what we're talking about specifically here is beyond comparison to what the conclusion you're drawing right, right now. Let's the conclusion compares. I'm drawing but is that you, we should just get rid of gender altogether way. and we should no, have no, you, you sports based on body metrics because then so you would like to have the Olympic. No, so the, just to be clear, the Olympic Games you'd have gender neutral. Yes, it would because the, oh, only, don't be so ridiculous. the only reason, yeah, Riley, surely you agree, the only reason women's sport exists is because men were gatekeeping sport for so long and then finally said, you know what, fine, have your own. But really, if we just remove how many biological women? If we remove gender from sports, please let me finish my point. Then we won't have this issue. Safety uh, won't be an so, issue. I'm we sorry. Can make sure that, that everyone is, has sorry. a that fair is, chance. That is so insane, James. Together. That is so spectacularly ill-informed and dumb. Well, is it, Riley? No. Yes, it is, James. You are one of the dumbest people I've ever heard speak. 
Can you imagine? You know, Anthony Joshua was in the amateurs for boxing, right? Mm. They just made it genderless, and they put any. Yeah. He would murder her. He would breathe in her direction, and she would die. Like, what? What is going on here? How can you? You're you're literally advocating for the slaughter of women. If the Olympics come up and they make it genderless, thanks to someone like you, yeah, not a single woman will ever appear on the podium again, ever. You will have to literally go to the ends of the earth and find her on a mountain in every steroid in a 10 mile radius to even get 10th place. Have you seen that um, competition where everyone just smacks each other in the face? Oh, power slap. Yeah, yeah. imagine they did that. With oh my God. Genders, no genders. Yeah. And a man just slaps a woman around the face. He'll kill her. Yeah, he'll kill her. With those type of smacks they're doing on that show, she's done. That show's diabolical. I can't believe it's a thing. Yeah. Staying away, you know, it's the UFC doing that. It's terrible. I think it's it's awful. It yeah, is it's, awful. They're consenting adults, then fair enough, but it's so dumb. But yeah, no, Sabi's right. There's a guy I watched in there, a big Hawaiian dude. Big Hawaiian Samoan dude, with gigantic hands, and he slapped some guy around the face, and his whole face went that way. Whole shifted the yeah, entire people way. People pass out and drop on the floor. Sometimes I get scared that they're even dead. Did you the see girls, the, the girls got some. Yeah. Fucking slaps on them. Yeah, but imagine, yeah, you see the best power slap of a girl go up, go up against that Hawaiian dude. His face isn't going to move. He's going to, she's going to slap him. Probably get a handprint here. He's going to slap her, and she's going to see every single one of her ancestors in two seconds. He will spin her jaw multiple times. She'll look like the Exorcist, just spinning in circles. D- uh, James is advocating for the slaughter of women. That's what he's doing here. That's what's going to happen. If you're one of those people that advocate for genderless sports, you're about to watch your gender get absolutely mullered. God forbid, God forbid that ever comes to like things like the UFC. We're going to watch a woman get massacred. Because you know, if they allow that to happen, you're going to get one guy that's pissed off one day. Maybe doesn't have much respect for martial arts. And he's like, all right, cool. You want to you wanna do this genderless? Let's do it genderless. And you're going to watch her get slaughtered. Wait, are you, you have, saying we should... If you should, have a gender-neutral Olympics... You, no biological saying, women okay, no, okay, would win point. a gold let me, medal. Let me just add a point here. Are that you saying that we should get rid of men and women's that are, sports that have altogether? Similar body types, body metrics, bone index. Yeah, it makes no sense. You, could, you clearly have never played whatsoever. sports before. Are you, he, he's never are you really saying that we should before. get rid of sporting categories altogether and have just one big yeah, pool? No, I'm saying people should compete against people okay, that have a okay. similar body type so that it's fairer. That, that, makes, that, that makes no sense. Well, You've never played sports before. It's never that's like saying, a lot of like saying, that's what we're talking about. As you're saying, Ray, I've come up with you're a you're solution that we are... for the problem that doesn't exist. No, you haven't. That's you just don't solution. understand it. There well, is, the, there is no if comparison between the bone rid... density and body mass of males and females. That's why they separate the sexes. In sports, That's because not they biological the males they would destroy the men biological not want women females. Playing sports. There's a reason they Track separate them. If Track you're saying back. even if men didn't want women playing sports, it makes no difference to the argument. It makes zero difference. If you look at any place, and I think they do it in Russia where they allow men and women to fight each other. If you look at those fights, the women get battered every time. I've never seen a woman win. I even watched this uh, this out of shape guy go up against this girl that was like in shape. She was competing. Do you know what he did? He just grabbed her. She couldn't move. He just bear hugged her. The the amount of power that men generate like far ex- uh, exceeds women. Our st- we've got higher st- uh, better stamina, better endurance, better reflexes. I don't know why you're advocating for this. You're just gonna get women fucked up, which is crazy since you seem to be an advocate for like people in their own spaces. And your only argument is men didn't want women to play sport. Even if that was true, it doesn't matter. Do you support the idea of eliminating the Paralympics versus the Olympics? I think that's a really great question. And I need oh, to, my God. I need, to, I need to look into that. Because as you say, <laughs> the conundrum. Paralympians to compete against <laughs> you Olympics. Imagine not. It to be honest, you are itself. a total... But it maybe that's does. the point. Maybe that's the point. No, the point is you never that's play very, sport, have you? That's very... You ever play sport? Able all, all hang on, hang on, hang on. That, that is incredibly ablephobic. So hang on. Time out, time out. I want to ask James one simple question. Are you saying people who are disabled don't deserve a chance James, have you ever played sport at all? No, of course I haven't played sport. He's never played sport. Do I look like a person that's into sport? What he wants is Paralympians taking on Olympians. No, I don't want that. I want everyone to be safe. I want everyone to be happy. I want everyone to be treated with dignity and respect. Actually, you don't. You want unfairness and... I think the more important question here, the more relevant question is that, have you ever read a book before? Do you pay attention to your surroundings? 
Do you walk around with eyes wide shut? No, he just wants everything to be sunshines and rainbows and for us to all hold hands in a circle. <laughs> the thing is, is that we it is sunshines and rainbows in the Olympics. They're happy over there and we're happy over here. What you're advocating for is Mortal Kombat. That's what you want in the Olympics. You want bloodshed. You want fatalities. You want stage fatalities. You want women to be impaled. You want them to be destroyed. That's what you're advocating for here. These, these people, these inclusive types don't even know, they don't know what they're talking about. They have no idea what they're talking about. Inequality to we rape absolutely and ruin How women's sport you irrevocably. You, you just had a go at me about You've that. You've just said a load of crap. Well, so have you. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. Honestly. I understand physiology and sport. Well, good for you. You don't. Good for you, but you don't understand here's, loving here's a human thing. being. Huh? We, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be having human. all of this I understand it enough. I've got three sons and a daughter, and they don't play sport well, then, together we, we, in we, a we, fair we, way. Where's the dignity and We wouldn't be having... All right, let me... Wait, let's move on. The thing is, is that he keeps on taking it back to love and emotions and caring. And it's like, do you know what? Maybe the world would be a better place and everyone would be more loving and caring if you weren't forcing them to do things that they don't want to do, i.e. forcing the notion of men in women's changing rooms, i.e. taking away trophies from 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 women who deserve to win in certain sport categories because you want to put men in there. Maybe if you did keep everything separate, everyone would be a lot nicer to each other. But it's the fact that you're taking things away from people and forcing things down people's throats that they're so, you know, you're, you're getting upset because people ain't conforming or they're getting annoyed about it. It's unfair. It's not inclusivity because you're completely cancelling out how the other people feel. And I just think their world would be a better place and there would be more love and care and empathy if things were just a bit different and people behaved a bit different. That's my take on it. No, you're right. Stop trying to blur the lines. We were happy before. There's, if there's a bunch of people that are not happy, then make your own league. I don't see why women have to bite the bullet for it. People, people don't have problems with trans people, but they have problems with trans people being put in sport categories where they have an advantage. That's where the problem lies. It's not for the fact that someone's trans, it's the fact that this is now become an unfair thing. So it's this whole notion of you're transphobic if you think this way. No, like people haven't actually got anything against you or transphobic pe or trans people. <laughs> but it's just the whole notion of what, you're trying to force we we could like a transgender person and get along with them but that doesn't mean that it's the most comfortable feeling having someone of the opposite gender in the changing room with you yeah uh, this isn't going to end well it's not going to end well for women or for trans individuals because they're not going to get their way but in the pursuit of trying to get their way a lot of women are going to get hurt in the process a lot of them are going to get their opportunities taken away and there's only so much people are willing to take before things start to turn ugly we said that about the Just Stop All protesters. Look what happened. Two of them got shot. Now, I'm not advocating for anyone to get hurt, but I live in reality. And if you keep on poking the bear, the bear will bite back eventually. So, you know, you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. And if anyone wants to argue the fact that uh, biological men don't have an advantage over women, then you've got your head up your ass. There's no other way to put it. I don't even care if you play sports. I don't even care if you're a sportsman. If you genuinely think that you've got your head up your ass and you're lying or you're being paid by someone, you're being paid to say some bullshit. You know it's not true. We all know it's not true. So we should all just stop lying about it. Otherwise, like I said, women are the ones that will pay for it, not, not men.